Hello and welcome to Frank's School, <coughs> a first day, uh, first video. I'm going on with punctuation. This is a new paragraph now, because in telling the story, someone has spoken, and now the narrator, the storyteller, is speaking again. So I indent it. Uh, here's the next sentence, sentence. These were what the youngster had to be able to use correctly. Apostrophe. <laughs> Apostrophes, brackets, colons, commas, hyphens, and dashes. I, I, I meant to not punctuate it, uh, but I'm not going to go ahead. All right. Uh, <clears throat> these were what the youngster had to be able to use correctly. This calls now for a, a colon. That's a way of saying, here comes a list. It's often used after the words, the following. I could say the youngster had to learn the following, and then, and then uh, make a colon. So get ready, here comes a list. And then the list, apostrophes. Uh, one of the rules of punctuation is that you, is that you separate, hey, no. I hope you can still see me. That cat's... Uh, well, I'm going to finish anyway. That might be funny. Uh, uh, you separate items in a list with commas, apostrophes, comma, brackets, comma, colons, comma, commas, comma, hyphens, comma, and dashes. Uh, uh, now, in German, you would not put that comma there. Uh, I, as I understand the punctuation of German, uh, that the, the last two items in a list are not separated by commas. I prefer the English system here. I, I think it's better, but, but I'm pretty sure that's true. All right, uh, items in a list are separated by commas. A list is introduced by a semicolon, or by a colon, rather. And uh, that's, uh, oh, and a period at the end of the sentence. It's a, com it's a clause. The, uh, these were, uh, it's got a subject and a predicate. Uh, I mean, it's more complicated than that, but, okay, if you're only interested in punctuation, now you should stop. That's like audience number one. You should stop. Audience number two would be those people who are, uh, your English maybe isn't perfect and you have trouble with the spelling of English. Well, for them, I'm now going to spell, well, and also to teach my uh, spelling system. Here is what we actually say. So this is for audience number two now. Uh, these, ah, The, the, these, it's voiced, it's not these, it's these. These were <coughs> what the youngster, youngster had to be a, able a able to use correctly. Correctly. Apostrophes. Apostro apostrophes. These are unusual words, so I'm going to show where the stress is. Apostrophes. Brackets. Brackets. Um, comma. Uh, colons. Col uh, colons. Colons. I think you'd say an uh there. Maybe. Colons. Uh, commas, 
hyphens. Hyphen, uh, <laughs> this hyphens. This is called a, sh a schwa, and it's not really clear whether it's an uh, uh, it, uh but hyphens, uns. Um, or maybe it, this might be hyphens, it's probably like that, hyphens, and dash, dashes, dashes. Let me try that. These were what the youngster had to be able to use correct, correctly. Apostrophes, brackets, colons, colon. Um, the schwa, maybe I'll, well, I'll struggle with it. Uh, commas, hyphens, hyphens, and dashes. All right, uh, now for the brave, uh, well, that's for audience, two audiences. Uh, the next video is the really strange one. That's for people who uh, think they may want to learn German, uh, learn to love German. So, so come back. Sorry about the cat.